All right, folks, so welcome. Um, and this is a online workshop about getting started with a wordpress.org account. And what we'll be doing today is touring the different parts of a profile on wordpress.org. Um, I'm going to also demonstrate um, how to create an account on wordpress.org. Uh, this will be my first time trying to do it as a, a demo because um, I, I have had my account on wordpress.org for a long time. Um, so it'll be interesting to try to create one new live with y'all. And if we have time and folks are interested, um, I would love to help anyone interested to create their own account and you can maybe follow along with my demo. Um, that said, I want to set some expectations about what we won't be covering today. Uh, we won't be talking about um, setting up a WordPress site or any support with WordPress site issues. So if you're looking for um, you know, some help with uh, working on your site, unfortunately, this is not the workshop for you. And it is okay if uh, you don't if you don't find this um, the subject matter relevant to you. Um, you are welcome to come and go as you please. All right, so let's get to the meat of our presentation here. So what is an account on WordPress.org and what can you do with it? Um, so when you when you start using WordPress, you don't necessarily have an account on WordPress.org. When you create an account on WordPress.org, um, you can do the following things that are listed here on the slide. Uh, so you can post on the WordPress support forum. So if you're looking for help with your WordPress site, um, you can post on the forums there and ask for help from the community. Um, you can also rate and review themes and plugins that you've downloaded and tried out. Uh, you could also join the Making WordPress Slack, which is the, the chat space where um, contributors like myself and thousands, maybe millions of people um, join in order to uh, contribute back to the WordPress Slack. I'm sure it's just thousands, probably not millions. Um, and lastly, with your WordPress.org account, you can track your activity and your contributions back to the WordPress open source project. And I will show you those things in depth shortly. And so we're going to take a little tour around a WordPress.org profile. Um, so I'm going to share a different window for a few moments. Um, all right, so here is an example of a profile on WordPress.org, and this is the profile of WordPress co-founder Matt Mullenweg. So he, I feel like he's a good example because he's been around the project for a long time. You'll see as uh, you go on the right-hand side of the screen that his, he's been a member since April 4th, 2003. So um, that, that's quite a long time. That's before like the official founding of WordPress, which was in 2004. Uh, so the WordPress.org profile um, contains the following information. So you can see a your photo and your Slack username, which is underneath your name here. Um, it can include a bio. So Matt chose to like share his interests. Some people share their WordPress origin story. Um, they share a little bit about what they do with WordPress. Um, you can list your interests. You can list your general and employment information. Now uh, you can also see here, like uh, it shares your location if you'd like, your website if you'd like to share that as well, and any social media links that you'd like to share um, underneath there. Um, so the relevant stuff to WordPress here um, on your profile is going to be your contribution history. So these are these badges here that you see. Um, there you go. Um, at the, the bottom of the profile or kind of the middle of the profile. So if you contribute to any of the teams that make WordPress, you'll see those badges here. Um, and if you can, you know, I think Matt has like most of them here, but I think there's there's a plenty more because we have over 20 teams uh, that make WordPress now. Uh, so if you contribute to the Polyglots team, which is the translation team, um, you'll also see your translations listed. So an example here is my colleague, uh, Ben here, who 
Um, at the bottom here, you'll see that he is a translation contributor and any translations he's done is here in that translation tab at the bottom. Um, so back to uh, Matt's profile here, the activity shows all the activity you do across the WordPress.org network. So for example, Matt is a, you know, is a speaker at events. So his um, speaker confirmations are listed there. Any comments he makes on any of the uh, making WordPress or make WordPress uh, sites or blogs, uh, you'll see those comments there. Uh, you'll see uh, comments from support forums listed on your activity. You'll also see um, any core and meta track activity. Um, it's, and we'll be talking about that shortly as well. Uh, so this also reveals any plugins you've worked on. If you click on plugins here on the left, uh, you'll see if you're a developer, contributor, et cetera, on any plugins. So it's a, a nice way to, to see um, everything at a glance here for plugins, um, as well as any themes that one has worked on. And um, and even when you're as you're going through plugins and themes, you can favorite them. So then you can access those favorites here on your profile if you click on favorites on the left. Um, and so that's a quick little tour around a profile. Um, but you might be wondering. And switch back to my slides here. You might be wondering. Where, oops, excuse me, where are profiles used? Um, you wanna know where, where is your profile information used within the WordPress.org network. And so, as I mentioned, um, you can start posting in the support forums um, and you your um, any posts that you have on the forums is going to be linked back to your profile. Um, so the support forums are where you can ask uh, the community for help with all sorts of WordPress related topics. And having a profile on WordPress.org gives you the ability to post here. Um, so when you navigate the support forums, uh, you'll be prompted to log in when you review um, and, and um, submit support requests. Um, so just to shoot a little link here in the chat. Um, this is the link to the support form. Um, there are many different areas for um, you know, help with WordPress, with de uh, development, general topics, et cetera. Um, so clicking on the username in these threads, um, I don't know if you can see this on, this on the screenshot that I have here, but um, you'll see like last post has like how many minutes ago or how many days ago, and then underneath is the username. When you click on that username, you'll see this support profile that's on the left here. So it shows like the topics that you've uh, participated in or the person has participated in um, and any replies that you've made in the support forums. And uh, similarly, um, there's the reviews forum where it looks a lot like the uh, support forums. This is where you can rate and review themes and plugins. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can also access reviews uh, and ratings from a, an actual plugin page. So that's what we have here next. Um, on plugin pages like this one, um, the authors will be attributed and uh, you'll see the title of the plugin. So here is Hello Dolly, and it says by Matt Mullenweg. So if you click on Matt's uh, name here, it'll bring you back to his profile. And you'll also see at the bottom of the page, uh, it shows the list of the contributors and developers. Those links as well will go back to the, um, the profile pages. Um, oh, there we go. And another thing that you can do that where your profile information is used. Um, so your cont contributions to, uh, to the WordPress open source project are tracked on your profile. So our activity within wordpress.org is tied to our profiles and visible for others to follow. So this includes tracking one's contributions to WordPress. Um, and on your profile, these badges are added to um, as based on your contributions to the open source project. So there are two kinds of badges. Um, 
One is the contributor badge and one is the team badge. Contributor badges are generally assigned to anyone who has contributed to a particular team. So for example, like the, the core team. Uh, so meanwhile, the so you see the core contributor badge is what I was referring to. That's in the center there. Uh, and meanwhile, the team badges, like the core team badge, which is on the right, um, those are given to those who are active on the team. Um, so each individual team can set its own criteria for who should get each badge. Um, so it's just quickly, I can just show you um, at make.wordpress.org um, is where we list out all the teams. Um, so here, I, yeah, like I mentioned, we have over 20 teams that work on WordPress. Um, I will do be doing another workshop in the future about uh, getting started with contributing to, to WordPress, but um, you can take a look at these teams at any time and see if there's anywhere that interests you um, that you'd like to contribute to. Note that there are plenty of teams that don't require any kind of developer chops or coding um, to, to contribute. So, for example, I started on the community team um, organizing like meetups and word camps uh, and helping other folks in the community um, also create events in their, their own local communities. Uh, there's the marketing team, there's um, and right now I'm contributing to the training team doing these workshops, um, the TV team, which does a lot of the videos. Uh, so there's lots of teams that suit all sorts of, um, of talents. So if you'd like to take a look and start contributing to WordPress, uh, this is a good place to start. All right. Ah, and I... Forgot about this page. Uh, so cont uh, contributor team posts um, like you see here. So each um, each team has its own blog on WordPress.org. So you can, when you click on any of the teams on the, the previous page I showed at make.wordpress.org, you can find each team's blog and see what they're working on. So when you post on a, a team blog, um, you'll see your name at the top and the, if you click on the name, of course, it brings you back to your profile. Um, and that also, so posts like this will get listed on the activity on your profile. Any uh, comments that you make on team blogs will, will also be on your profile. And um, yeah, and this is an example of that that I want to share with you. Uh, contributions that folks make um, on the core, meta, plugin, and themes team. Um, so these are tracked through the system called TRAC, T-R-A-C. Um, so um, TRAC will reference profiles as well. So here's an example here. Um, I have these arrows pointing to where the you'll, you'll find um, profile links. So at the top, you know, when I'm logged in, this link will go back to my profile. Uh, the author here of this ticket, um, it doesn't look like that's a link, it just mentions his name, um, and then any mentions of other folks that have worked on, on this contribution are on here as well. Um, and another example of a contribution is if you're a speaker at a WordCamp, um, the yearwordpress.org profile is linked to um, the speakers page at a WordCamp. So, um, you know, when you are accepted as a speaker at a WordCamp, they ask for your WordPress.org username and um, you know, your, your information, including your profile, um, your profile photo often will get pulled into a WordCamp site. And I think this is the last one is the uh, the making WordPress Slack, which I've mentioned many times. Um, this is a if you're not familiar with Slack, it is a, um, a chat program. Uh, which we use. Uh, so the WordPress project uses Slack as its main real-time communication platform. Um, this replaced the previous communication platform like IRC, um, which is Internet Relay Chat, which was used um, when WordPress first started out. So, um, so when compiling a list of things about previous communication methods, it was obvious that like Slack uh, met all those needs and 
uh, even though WordPress historically used IRC for real-time communication, and um, it, it actually still exists. Um, and there's like a, um, a WordPress support channel within IRC, if you're familiar with using that. Um, but Slack communication is used for contributing to the WordPress project. So that's, again, code, design, documentation. Um, all the teams have a Slack channel here. Um, and uh, yeah, myself and the training team, we're on the training channel. Um, if you are curious about like our process in um, creating the content for the community, um, or if you have any suggestions, uh, that's the training team is channel is a great place to uh, to hang out. And so we're gonna do a little demo. Um, I am, like I said, I've never done this live before. So, and I haven't done this since I actually created my own account um, many years ago. So um, let's see. Does anyone have any questions on um, what I've shared so far? I'll just take a moment to check the chat here. All right. It's pretty quiet so far. So um, yeah, feel free to, to type in the chat at any time. So to create your own WordPress.org account, Feel free to follow along as I'm doing this, by the way, and ask any questions as it comes up. So if you don't have an account on WordPress.org yet, um, go to login.wordpress.org slash register, and you'll see a screen here uh, that looks like this. So let's uh, let's actually go to that link now. Oh, actually, it's probably going to show my own account uh, since I'm logged in. And I'm doing this for the first time. So let's, uh, I'm going to create a new window here and share that with you. So I'm doing this in a um, incognito window, which is not logged in to WordPress. Um, all right, so here is the create a, um, an account page. So. You'll enter your preferred username and enter an email address. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just make one up. <laughs> um, and then just put, maybe put a string of numbers, um, maybe today's date. <laughs> I'm sure that wasn't won't exist. Um, and I actually have a test email that I forget what the address is. Let me find that. I see you in the chat, William. Hi, nice to see you. All right, so I am going to put in my test email. And these two uh, check boxes at the bottom, um, you are required to read and accept the privacy policy. So remember to click here to review the privacy policy and click to agree. You cannot continue unless this box is checked. And this is optional here at the bottom. There's a box um, to subscribe to the WordPress announcements mailing list. Um, you know, it's just a few messages a year, so it's um, a good way to keep, um, keep up to date on what's happening in WordPress. Um, I'll go ahead and click it. It's my test again. <laughs> All right. So I created this account. And now it asks me to check my email. Um, let's, let's go check my email. Um, okay. This is not letting me share my, my email screen. Let's try that again. Thank you for bearing with me, folks. Ah, I think this is because it is in, that was an incognito window.
All right. So this is what the email looks like that comes from wordpress.org. And then you can click the link inside to, to validate your account. So I'm actually gonna copy that. Go back to this page. All right, so this is the, the link to confirm my account. Um, I'm going to create a new password. And so you want to choose a strong password um, since it's just my test. It's actually a, a medium password that was easy, easier for me to remember personally. Um, but we recommend that you create a strong password. So continue typing in here until you get something strong. Um, so for example, if like I added a few more characters, it did work. <laughs> um, so next, um, I let's see. You could fill in this information here. It's optional, but I'm going to just go ahead and create an account. And there we go. It kicks us back to uh, WordPress support um, once we've created an account. And you'll see in the upper right-hand corner, this is where I can access my new profile. And here it is. It's completely empty. This is um, where you can add all the information that's linked to your profile. So um, I'm going to go back to my slide for just a moment, if we could find it. Uh, Lorena asks if we're going to get a link for the recording. Yes, I will be posting the recording on the um, the comments on meetup.com. And um, so I need to process the video before posting it. Um, so it, that should be within the day, um, maybe the next 24 hours or so. All right. Um, What I wanted to share, so like customizing your profile um, is can come after you've created it. So um, you can add a profile folder, photo or a unique avatar. Um, so this involves creating an account on Gravatar. Uh, that's gravatar.com. Uh, so Gravatar is intended to aggregate several of your email addresses and profile photos. Um, actually, we can show you that right now. So this is what... Gravatar looks like. Um, and so this is where you can create the avatar and link it to your email addresses. Um, this is where the photo on your profile will be pulled from. Um, so uh, other things you can do, um, you can add your GitHub username. Uh, you can add your bio, your website URL, your location. Um, and your WordPress origin story. Um, other things that you can add are your company and job title, your interests, um, and how you use WordPress. So you can uh, say you can use it, you use it for personal or business. Um, and then um, on in contributions, you can add any sponsorship that you have. Um, so that would be so like for myself, I'm sponsored by Automatic um, and they um, I I list them as my sponsor on my WordPress.org profile. Um, actually, I can show you that really quickly. I think it's better to show examples than just look at this slide. Um, <laughs> so here's my profile. So you'll see um, contributions here that automatic sponsors me um, and I contribute to the community TV and training teams. Um, so what else do we have? Um, in the forum profile, which uh, we went over earlier, the, that's the support forums, um, that shows a different, um, 
a different view, which I think I showed you earlier. Um, and it just shows like your, uh, like the threads that you've created or contributed to. Um, let's see. Oh, we have someone joining a little late. Welcome. Um, so what else do we have here? Um, yeah, your pro forum profile is what I was referring to. Um, it's worth a quick peek there to uh, edit any in additional information that shows on your, your forum profile. Um, and lastly, for from your primary WordPress.org profile, you can configure notifications. Um, that search for your name and any other keywords that you would like. So um, again, I'm going to switch my share again so I can show you where that setting is. So here, um, there's this link on the right that says edit notification settings. And there we go. And you can say like, oh, notify me when my name is mentioned. Um, uh, I probably wouldn't just put my first name because there's plenty of other Courtney's in the community. So that's an example. So you can get, like, get a notification anytime that someone mentions a certain name. Say like maybe you work on a certain plugin. Uh, you can put the name of that plugin in this notification. Um, so I think that's really handy. Or if you are in a particular community, like in a city, I can say Honolulu in here um, and get a notification anytime someone mentions that. Uh, I see a question from William. Can I list that I sponsor people to attend WordCamp conferences in other nations? Or do the conferences organizers have to do that? Hmm. That is a very good question. Um, I know that, let's see. Let's check um, my profile again. Edit profile contribution. I can say I'm sponsored. So I think what you're referring to, William, might be something that the um, that the conferences organizers have to do. Um, I don't think that will show on the the regular profile. Um, that would show on the the conferences, <clears throat> excuse me, speaker page. Um, these contributions that are sponsored, um, this is uh, self-defined here. So it's like you can say I contribute 40 hours a week to the training team. And then what how that shows on the profile, it's just in text here. Um, Yeah, you're welcome. Um, I'm sorry that wasn't very helpful and to get you where where you're trying to get, but um, yeah, definitely through the actual events uh, organizers, they can add that to the speaker profile. Um, and if uh, your company sponsors um, sponsors anyone to contribute to the WordPress project, um, there is the Five for the Future program, which um, which is where companies um, sponsor like 5% of their resources back to the open source project. Um, I can pull that up for you too. So here, five for the future. And um, here is a link to that. So you can contribute as an individual or as an organization. Uh, this is where you commit to um, you know, donating 5% uh, of your resources back to the WordPress open source project. So you can read all about that here. Um, and um, I believe that here, let's see if we can find the listing. So there's some pledges from organizations here. So here are like listed all the companies that contribute um, or you know, make donations back to the open source project in terms of like their resources, their um, like their employees or their their time, um, and you can see like folks have their profiles linked here, which it doesn't look like it's a link. <laughs> 
but it shows like their profile pictures. So that's where it's helpful to have your, your Gravatar set up um, if you're being sponsored, because um, it will show you, I'll just click on this first one here. Um, it shows the contributors here. Yeah, and it does link to their profiles here. So perfect, that does work. <laughs> All right, so what do we have next? Um, oh yeah, something I wanted to mention again um, is that uh, we do have the a page for you to join the Making WordPress Slack. So that is at uh, chat.wordpress.org. Um, and here is the link to that there. So you go there to sign up for an account once you have created your wordpress.org profile. Um, so be sure to read through all the information on this page before you get started. Um, because it, and one of the most important things to note here when you're setting up is that the email address that they associate with your Slack username is, it looks like um, like your username at chat.wordpress.org. So even if like you have a Gmail address uh, linked to your profile, uh, when you're setting up Slack, um, it uses this generated email at chat.wordpress.org. And I'm gonna paste that uh, format in the, in the chat so you see what that looks like. Um, so you, you should make a note of this um, special email address because that's what you use to log in to Slack. And it will be important if you forget your password. So you'll receive an email um, at this special address, but it will get forwarded to the email associated with your WordPress.org account. So only Slack can email this address, so you don't need to worry about spam or um, having to, to check a separate email. Um, so after you accept the invitation to join Slack, you can change your email if you want, um, but uh, that email address will be public. So if you, um, if you do change your email in Slack, um, it will show on your profile. And... I think that's it for me for content. So um, if you have an account on WordPress.org, I'd love to, to for you to share a link to that in the chat. Um, and we do have maybe about 20 minutes. So if anyone wants to create their profile live with me, um, I'd be happy to help you with that. Um, I'll give folks a minute. Uh, for those of us that joined late, um, welcome. Uh, I do all, actually already have a short recording to share with you um, that walks you through join, or setting up a WordPress.org account and setting up in Slack. So this is, I don't know, I think it's maybe five minute long video um, and it, it's also in many different languages. So you can share that with your colleagues if they want to create their own profiles, um, your friends, family, whoever you would like to get involved with WordPress.org. Um, but yeah, I wanted to offer my help with creating profile if anyone here wanted, wanted some help there. Give you all a minute. Yeah, please um, share your profile if you have one. So here's mine. <laughs> Here we go. Funny thing is, is I actually created an account back in like 2005. And I completely forgot what email address I used and um, even what the username is. Uh, so I had to create this profile in 2016 when I started contributing full time. Um, still a mystery. I haven't really like looked into um, where my profile is because I know I posted in the forums a long time ago. Um, but this is my main profile now, and you can see all my you know, information, my contributions. Um, and as I mentioned before, all of my activity here, which includes comments on 
um, make.wordpress.org blogs uh, and forum posts. Um, yeah, that's all all in here. So it's good when I'm like trying to think of um, a, you know, maybe a ticket or a forum post, not a ticket that uh, that I replied to a long time ago and wanted to follow up on. Um, so that activity is useful. And here's Williams, awesome. Yeah, everyone does it a little bit differently. I love how you have all your qualifications here and on your bio, that's great in your experience. Um, yeah, this is great to see. Thank you for everything you do, William. <laughs> Origin story. Perfect. We love to see it. So anyone here in the chat that uh, need help creating a profile? I would love to, to help out. Well, again, if you have your, your profile on wordpress.org and you join the Making WordPress Slack, um, I am happy to answer any questions there. Um, note that Slack is not used as a, a support forum, like, so you have to go to the actual support forums there. Um, the Slack is where the community discusses our contributions and our projects. Um, and yeah, if you have any input on how we can um, you know, make some of the resources better. Uh, we would love to hear it. Speaking of that, um, we would love your help to, uh, to help us improve Learn WordPress. Uh, so we are collecting some some feedback from the community. Um, we'd like to know how you you like to learn. Um, if you like to learn with videos, workshops like these. If you're a text based learner, all sorts of information like that. So we want to know. Um, how to you know make things better for you on Learn WordPress. Um, so here's a link to that survey. It'll take a few minutes. Um, and yeah, we would love to to have your input there. So um, in 2023, we're going to be analyzing the um, the survey and hopefully make some improvements in the coming year to learn WordPress. Um, so we are currently working towards updating the needs analysis for, for learn. So this survey is the first phase of the project and will help us continue to grow and improve the materials uh, that, that the community produces. Uh, Linda says in the chat, um, I know I signed up for an account on wordpress.org, but I'm not sure if I created a profile. You'll need to go through your usernames and passwords. Um, yeah, if you go to, let's see, if you go to the login page, I think if you want to try, um, just a moment, I'm going to find that link for you. So I think that's farther back in my presentation. Ah, so if you go to login.wordpress.org slash register, um, if you think you have all, already have an account, there's a link at the bottom here. And I think you can just type in your, uh, your email address. You can try the different email addresses that you think you might have signed up with and um, send a like password reset um, request. So hopefully that will help you out. Um, so thanks for that question. Any other questions from folks? So I think we'll probably um, wrap a little early. Uh, so, oh, Linda, you said you use local and was wondering if it uses that login information. Um, I believe not. Um, actually, yes, I will let you unmute. Let's see, does that work? Yeah, can you hear me? Perfect. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if uh, when I use local to create websites, if it's using the uh, the WordPress.org um, sign up. So if yeah, I go in question. there, 
So Mm -hmm. what I'm wondering is if I go in there and I try to change the password, then I'm going to have to go into local and change it again. That's what I'm worried about. Is that the same login as what I would use to get a profile? It is not. Okay. So the login on your your local site or even on your live site that you uh, you maybe you have a help self hosted site somewhere else that login is different from a WordPress.org profile. Okay, but when you use the program local, mm-hmm. I think when you first started, I think I had to get a WordPress.org sign in. Oh, okay. And then that is different, and then each website I create a new where uh sign in lo, uh login information but i'm wondering if that one.org sign up mm-hmm. is the same as what we're using for these profiles i i um i be- i strongly believe it is different uh cuz i okay. also use local creating test websites um i don't recall having to link my um wordpress.org profile to it um Oh, okay. So, yeah. Um, I will double check that when on my own local instance. Um, and I promise to get back to you on that. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Anyone else have any questions? Well, once again, thanks for learning along with us. Um, As I mentioned, I will be sharing a recording of this workshop later, um, and you'll find that through the meetup event. I actually will be doing this workshop again next month for a different time zone, Um, so it'll be like a a few hours later than this. Um, And yeah, I'm hoping to iterate on this workshop, make it a little bit more clear. Uh, Now that I've done a kind of a live profile creation, uh, I know what to expect, so um, yeah, thanks for helping me improve this workshop as well. Um, so I think that's it. That's it for me. Um, you you will find the recording for this workshop and others um, over here, WordPress.tv. Um, so that link is in the chat. And you can join more online workshops and uh, watch more video tutorials over at uh at Learn WordPress, and that link is there too. Um, Thank you everyone for joining me. Um, I hope you have a great end to your year and best wishes for the new year. Um, And we will see you another time. Thank you all.